Here we are. This is our pinch air last day of camping in the hammocks. And of course we didn't have a shelter so it rained last night. So we got the tarps up and mine tarp split in half. Mm -hmm. But Rad's bike seized up and kind of put us behind schedule. And we were kind of trying to find a place to sleep last minute. So we did our kind of usual head down a dirt road and then turn off on a smaller dirt road and we get to this area here where they have some cows you know, over there, big bulls over here and all these private property signs. And of course the uh, people heard our bikes and they asked, you know, what are you guys doing? And we told them, you know, we just need a place to sleep and put our hammocks up and we're just looking for, you know, two coconut trees to put our hammocks up and just kind of a safe place to, to stay. So we're kind of looking around and we came and checked out their, their ranch, ranch farm, whatever you call it. And this is kind of like in a, an area, no tourists whatsoever. So they're kind of really surprised to see us. And we went into town last night, this little village to get dinner. And there's one restaurant, I use the word restaurant loosely, and we got some chicken, but it was really kind of like a ghetto around there. And uh, all the windows were barred up and looked kind of like a sketchy area. So, you know, here, when the guy came out to kind of greet us, he, uh, he came with a machete. So, you know, you just don't know who these people are. But I think we're kind of proved ourselves that we're not a threat. You can see they've got pigs and big pigs too. And then they got the dogs. Dogs came up in the middle of the night and uh, they weren't too sure what to think of our hammocks hammocks there but yeah look at all the I guess they're just raising pigs they got all these kind of um, pig pens we thought we were gonna sleep over here but man it stinks pretty bad and this is their house actually it's a container a little laundry out to dry but yeah living in a container is not such a bad place, at least it's waterproof. So now we're heading into Igwe, the place that we bought the bikes from. And we're uh, gonna try to sell his bike. And then we're gonna kind of mix it up and do something kind of special. And hopefully not be sleeping in the hammock tonight. We'll see how that goes.